welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over some new information about Luca shared by Empire. Firstly, we got a new image of Luca and Alberto hanging out in the town square. My first impression was this looks exactly like the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. If Luca's a hit, it will definitely be featured there. The most intriguing part of this picture is the water fountain. It looks like a sea monster with similar colouring to Luca. In the background of this image, there are two stores. The first is a focaccia store, which is a flat oven-baked Italian bread, similar in style and texture to pizza. The second store is called Latteria San Giorgio. Latteria translates to dairy, and there is also a sign in the window that says gelato. This must be where the boys got their gelato in the footage we saw at Disney Invested Day. San Giorgio is a coastal town in Italy, presumably where the film is set. There are also a couple of characters in the background. There are three old ladies and a mother and her female child. I don't think that these are main characters, probably just some extras. Secondly, this article provided some more plot information. When Luca was first announced, Luca was the only sea monster, but now Alberto will be one too, as I predicted in a previous video. Additionally, they will both turn into sea monsters when they go underwater. This idea kind of reminds me of the Australian TV series H2O, where three girls turn into mermaids when they come into contact with water. The article also compared Luca to The Little Mermaid, which is obviously one of Disney's best films. Thirdly, the article revealed a third character, a human girl who befriends the sea monsters. I am really happy about this because this film was looking much too male dominated. Finally, the article shares some thoughts from director Enrico Casarosa. He stated, I was born in Genoa and my summers were spent on beaches. I met my best friend when I was 11. I was really shy and I found this troublemaker of a kid who had a completely different life. I wanted to make a movie about those kind of friendships that help you grow up. From this, I think we can conclude that Luca will be 11 and his life-changing friend will be the girl character. I think that this is the case as Casa Rosa's friend came from a completely different world and Alberto is from the sea monster world like Luca, whereas the girl character is from the human world. The director also stated that Luca will pay homage to Fellini and other classic Italian filmmakers with a dash of Masaki in the mix too. Fellini films are characterised by blending fantasy and earthiness and Masaki was a co-founder of Studio Ghibli. I think that Studio Ghibli will end up being a massive influence on this film. In Seoul, there was a Luca Easter egg in the form of a sign that says visit Porto Rosso. Additionally, Disney has copyrighted Luca Porto Rosso as Sole del Mar, the Piazza. This is most likely a reference to the Studio Ghibli film Porco Rosso, a 1992 movie about an Italian pilot cursed to live in a pig-like body after World War II. Anyway, that is all for today. Let me know what you think about this new information in the comments down below. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.